Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how I put on my Gifted Uni Wigs Hope Synthetic Topper that I received. This is in the color 02 Natural Black, and as you can see, it is a perfect match to my bio hair, which is going to make it super easy for me to blend. The cap construction is rather large. It's an 8.5 by 9, and it does have six pressure-sensitive clips all the way around with a wefted back. I will say that this wefted back does not have a lot of stretch, so keep that in mind. And it does feature a monofilament top right there with a lace front. The monofilament part is has a little bit of extra room so that you could move the part potentially. However, I'll probably just leave it as a middle part. I did go ahead and pluck the parting because the lace part actually looked fine. However, when you got back into the monofilament, it was super, super tight. And I wanted to make sure that that part line looked as natural as it possibly could. Now, with my hair, I have already washed it and blow dried it and straightened it to match the topper since it is synthetic. Um, it's just gonna make the blending a lot easier. And I'm gonna take a couple of bobby pins and pin my bio hair back. I find this really easy, or it makes it the process a lot easier when I'm applying this topper since I'm having to use glue to lay down that lace in the front just to avoid any flyaways or my bio hair getting in the way and getting stuck in that glue that I'll be using. Speaking of the glue, I am using the Got To Be Glued Spiking Gel, and I'm gonna take my finger and just apply it right there onto my forehead and up into my part line and then smoothing it out gently across the area. You can extend that either on either side if you want to. And I wouldn't worry too much about the mess that you're making because after you're done, you can take a Q-tip and some warm water and just clean that right off. I am going a little bit more into my hairline and into my part line to make sure that I have plenty of glue right there because that's where I want the lace to really stick down and not have an issue with coming up. I'll go ahead and open up the clips and just like I do with all of my other toppers, I will go ahead and flip this over and kind of bring it in from the back. And you'll see that in just a moment. And I will line up the part on the topper with my own bio hair so that what you're seeing through that monofilament and the lace is just my own scalp. Once I have it placed where I want, I'll go ahead and hold it down and close those clips all the way around. Keep in mind that when you're closing the clips, something to consider is not to put too much tension on the back clips because if you do, it can cause the glue to come undone and it could potentially also damage the lace that you've laid down with the glue. Now I'll go ahead and reach for my hair dryer and make sure that this is in a cool setting. As a reminder, this is a synthetic topper and it is not heat friendly so we want to make sure that we don't accidentally singe the fibers because once that's done you either have to cut it out or your topper is ruined so be very careful doing this you can use your fingers to kind of feel up there and make sure that that glue isn't tacking anymore before turning it off and setting it aside now I'm going to pick up my brush and comb through my hair and my bio the bio hair and the topper hair to blend it and I'll go ahead and also remove the bobby pins that I used to pin back my bio hair now that it is on. And then I'll brush it through again to make sure that I get that nice blend. I did cut my hair just recently, so um, I may have to trim this one a little bit more just to have a better blend with my bio hair. Um, but honestly, I think I've mentioned this before in my stories, this is a really great low density piece that I'll be using in braids or in a ponytail under hats because I do love wearing hats even if I am wearing hair. Here's a closer look at that part line. I think it looks so much better than it did if the, you know, a few days ago when I tried it on now that I have plucked it and I did make sure that I made it uneven so that it didn't look so... I don't know, it just looked more realistic with that part line. 